good morning students welcome to our lecture of dsa and today we will study about spanning tree so let's see what is spanning tree a spanning tree is is a connected graph which contains a set of vertices and edges and those edges are mainly used to connect the vertices so we represent graph with capital g vertices with capital v and edges with capital e so the basic definition of graph g is v comma e where v denotes set of vertices and e denotes the set of edges okay now the point to remember here is that the edges which connect the vertices or we can say that the nodes are always one less than the number of vertices okay we will study different properties of spanning tree with the example here is an example of spanning tree this is uh, a spanning tree with four vertices the vertices are 1 2 3 and 4 these are the four vertices and the edges are used to connect these four vertices with each other the number denoted above these edges are the weights or we can say that the cost of these edges these this uh, these weight or cost of the edges are mainly used to travel from one node to another in minimum weight or minimum cost possible okay so we will use these weights to calculate the path from one node to another node and the path should be as minimum as possible so we will study the properties of spanning tree with the example given now here 1 2 3 and 4 these are the vertices of our spanning tree of our graph and the number denoted here 20 10 40 60 and 30 these are the weight of edges okay these are the weight of the edges which we will consider while calculating the weight of minimum spanning tree and these are the edges which are connecting one vertex to another vertex so let's start this with the the properties n minus 1 edges first property states that n minus 1 edges when we have a spanning tree a spanning tree will contain a number of vertices okay so these number of vertices will be connected with each other through the set of edges and these set of edges will be will always be one less than the total number of vertices okay so let's see this with this example here we are given a spanning tree this spanning tree can further be created into sub trees okay these sub trees now uh, how we can know that uh, how many sub trees can be created using this original spanning tree so we have a formula to create sub tree of the spanning trees that formula is n n raised to power minus 2 so this formula will be used to create the sub trees of the original spanning tree so using this formula let's calculate how many sub trees 
we can create of the original spanning tree here n denotes the number of nodes or vertices number of nodes or vertices so putting the value of n in the formula we have four nodes so 4 4 raised to power 4 minus 2 it will give us a value 16 so we can create 16 subtrees of this original spanning tree these 16 subtrees will give us the uh, different path lengths different weights of the sp uh, minimum spanning tree so we can create 16 subtrees of this original spanning tree now let's take an example of uh, let's first create a skeleton of this spanning tree skeleton means a skeleton is nothing but a tree which contains only vertices but not edges so we have created a skeleton of this spanning tree and now we are taking edge to connect these vertices so we have taken three edges and their weights are 10 20 and 30 this is our first subtree which can be created from the original spanning tree okay so this is our first subtree from our original spanning tree similarly we can create other 15 subtrees now now for understanding the properties of spanning tree we will consider this subtree as our example to understand the properties different different properties of our spanning tree now till now we have uh, studied n minus 1 edges that means uh, now let's see this property let's apply this property on our first subtree for n minus 1 edges we have three uh, we have four vertices for four vertices when we have four vertices here we have four vertices and for four vertices for connecting these all four vertices with each other we are using three edges here so this point or gets concluded that for uh, for minimum spanning tree n minus 1 edges are used that is the number of uh, vertices uh, edges should be one less than the total number of vertices so here we are having four vertices and the edges which are used to connect these vertices four vertices are three so this point get fulfilled now the second property comes weight of mst mst means minimum spanning tree minimum spanning tree here minimum is mainly used for the path or for the weight so minimum means minimum cost that can be applied or used to travel from one node to another covering all the vertices okay so let's now calculate the weight of minimum spanning tree the, the first subtree which we have obtained from the main spanning tree we will calculate the weight of this minimum spanning tree now the weight of minimum spanning tree is the sum of weight of edges of minimum spanning tree so the weight of minimum spanning tree can be calculated by sum of weight of edges so first edge weight is 10 plus next is 20 and the third one is 30 so it will give us the weight 60 so this is the total weight or we can say that 
weight or cost of our minimum spanning tree this minimum spanning tree so this is the weight of minimum spanning tree now uh, we, since we can create 15 other sub trees of this original sub of this original spanning tree so 15 other sub trees when we create these other 15 sub trees the weight will always vary the weight will always vary why this weight will always vary let's understand this with an example suppose that these are the vertices this was our first subtree now let's take this one more subtree here all the four vertices are connected through the edges now let's take the weight of these edges 10 20 and the weight of this edge was 60 so while calculating the weight of this edge it will give us the result 90 so this is not the minimum spanning tree similarly while creating other 14 subtrees the weight of the subtree will always vary but the uh, first subtree that we have created will always give us the minimum weight of the spanning tree now coming to the third property max path length between two vertices for calculating the maximum path length between two vertices will always be given using the formula n minus 1 this can be understood using this example suppose we are taking these two vertices these two vertices path length can be uh, can be checked using the formula n minus 1 here n means the number of nodes that means 4 minus 1 so it gives maximum path length that is 3 maximum path length means the number of edges which are used to connect all the four vertices so this was the first edge this was second and this was the third one so this property also gets fulfilled now coming to the next property only one path from one vertex to another this property states that when we have a vertex a vertex can contain only one path in one direction that means for vertex 1 we can move in we can move to 2 in only one direction with weight 10 and we can move to vertex 4 with weight 20 so only one path is available from one vertex to another next property states that removal of edge disconnects the graph according to this property when we remove an edge suppose that we are removing this edge after removing this edge it will disconnect the graph disconnect the graph means our now this graph will not be a minimum spanning tree it will not be a minimum spanning tree because it has disconnected and this vertex has become isolated so while uh, removal of any edge our graph will get disconnected and it will not be considered as the minimum spanning tree coming to the last property graph with di distinct weights means minimum spanning tree is unique graph with distinct weights means every edge of the graph has a different weight that means no edge has same weight so this will always give us a unique spanning tree unique spanning tree means when we will uh, create all the 16 all those 16 sub trees of this original spanning tree it will always give unique weights of the minimum spanning tree so this was the basic introduction of spanning tree we will study about uh, the 
two algorithms of spanning tree that those algorithms are prems and kruskals in our next lecture thank you for watching